this question, we're asked to solve 3 cosec theta plus 8 cos theta is equal to 0. For theta in the interval 0 to 180 degrees, give your answer to one decimal place. Now, looking at that, we don't have cosec squares, etc. So I'm not thinking one of the uh, 1 plus tan squared is sec squared or the uh, uh, cot squared plus 1 is cosec squared formulae. I'm just thinking, let's just uh, look at cosec, let's write what it is, and let's see where we get to if we do that. Now, 3 cosec means 3 multiplied by 1 over sine theta, which is just 3 over sine theta. So 3 over sine theta plus 8 cosine theta is equal to 0. Okay, so just translating this into what it means is, was my first line. Now, I'm thinking there's a sine theta on the denominator here, so let's multiply both sides of this equation by sine theta, and we would get that 3 plus 8 cosine theta sine theta is equal to 0. Okay, um, now at this point, I'm, I should be looking at this and thinking that looks very familiar, that looks something familiar to me. Now let's, uh, I'm gonna just pull up here the identities that I memorized. These are the identities, sorry. The following identities are the ones I memorized. And here they are, I'm just gonna pull them down here so we can, they're fully viewed, but I'm gonna take them away in a second. Now all of these are all times in my brain. Does that look like anything we know? Well, to me it looks like the sine double angle formula, because look here. Sine of 2 theta, or sine of 2x, is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So, this here looks something I could use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away, and I'm going to say that I'm using the following identity, that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. So using that, and multiplying both sides by 4, you would see that 4 sine 2 theta would be equal to 8 sine theta cosine theta. And that's exactly what we've got here. Well, we've got 8 cosine theta sine theta, but it's the same. So this whole thing here, I could replace by the double angle for sine of 2 theta. Now, the reason why that's so useful is that this thing here has cosines and sines in it, so how can you solve that? Whereas here, we've just got one function, one trigonometric function, sine of 2 theta. So rearranging this, 4 sine of 2 theta would be equal to negative 3, and sine of 2 theta would be equal to negative 3 quarters. Calculator out, work out the principal value. Now this time we want our calculator in uh, degrees mode, so change it to degrees mode, and what we're going to do here is we're going to say the inverse sine of negative 3 quarters, and it's negative uh, 48.6 degrees. So 2 theta would be negative 48.6 degrees, 8.6 degrees. Okay, now look, we're looking for our answers between 0 and 180 degrees. That's just the principal value. Let's think where the other values are. So here's my sine graph. Sine graph looks something like this. And we know we've got an answer here, which is um, negative 48.6. Now, I've doubled the graph. The reason I've doubled the graph is because I've got 2 theta. So this would be 0, this would be 180, this would be 360. I've gone back to negative 180 here just to find this solution. Now, look where the solution, the other solutions are. You can clearly see here's another solution, but that's not going to be between 0 and 180. And here's one, and here's one. And when we halve these at the end, they will be between 0 and 180. So our two theta values that we care about is this one here and this one. Now that's 48.6 from 0, so that would be 48.6 from 180, so it would be 180 plus 48.6. And this one here will be 48.6 back from 360, so 360 subtract 48.6. Okay, so they are our two theta values. And let's write down what they are. So, uh, so write down what theta is there. So two, 2 theta is this, so a single theta, we do 180 plus 48.6 e uh, equals, and then divide it by 2, and we get 114.3 degrees. 114.3 degrees for that one. And let's take this one here. We would do 360, take away 48.6, 
like that, and we would then halve it, divide by two, and we get 155.7 degrees, so 155.7 degrees, both of these to one decimal place, and we're done.